Yo, what's going on everybody? Today's video is going to be on a Jade Harvester starter build for Season 5 Patch 2.4. Now this build is assuming that you're playing Season 5 with the brand new Hadrix Gift. If you're not familiar with how the Hadrix Gift works, I would recommend that you click the bottom left icon there, titled Hadrix Gift, and that'll take you to a about a 3 minute or so video explaining how it works, and how it's the fastest way to get your first six-piece set bonus. And for Witch Doctor, the specific set that you get through the Hadrix Gift is the Jade Harvester set. After you've rolled some good rares, you're going to go straight to Zoltan Cool and kill him, getting your next two pieces of Jade, and then go do a level 20 Greater Rift, getting your full six-piece set bonus. And from there, with well-rolled rares, you should be able to go right into Torment 6 or Torment 7 with this exact build. This build is based around a good bit of movement speed because a lot of times early on you're not going to have tons of movement speed and you want to be able to move through the rifts quickly and kill quickly to be efficient and get as many legendary drops as possible as quickly as possible. But this is the build I'd recommend as soon as you ding level 70. So we've got Haunt Resentful Spirits and this releases two spirits at once. I think it's just better for early on progression and speed builds to release the two spirits for one thing. Uh, you're going to hit two targets with the two-piece Jade Harvester, and uh, spreading your haunts quicker for speed builds is more efficient than getting a little bit extra damage out of Poison Spirit. Locust Swarm Pestilence, so that the Pestilence jumps very quickly from mob to mob. Now later on there are some items that will give you this rune, and possibly even cast Locust Swarm for you, but early on you want to be running Locust Swarm Pestilence on your bar. Piranha's Piranado, you get a damage debuff on the enemies with this, and it pulls mobs together. The brand new Spirit Walk Severance gives you an extra 100% movement speed while you're Spirit Walking. And tied with the Grave Injustice passive giving you cooldown reduction, you're able to just kind of zoom off every time you kill a group of mobs, getting those cooldowns reduced with Grave Injustice. With the 4-piece Jade Harvester, you're going to have every rune of Soul Harvest, so Swallow Your Soul gives you mana back. Siphon gives you life back, Languish gives you armor per stack and also reduces movement speed of enemies by 80% for 5 seconds. Soul to Waste gives you 5% movement speed per stack, and then Vengeful Spirit does a little bit more damage. And on top of that, Soul Harvest is giving you 3% intelligence per stack as well. Horrify Stalker for 20% more movement speed for 4 seconds after casting Horrify. I prefer the movement speed for Horrify here early on but you could go for the Frightening Aspect rune for 50% more armor if you want to. Confidence Ritual. You deal 25% additional damage to enemies within 20 yards. Every time you Soul Harvest, you're going to be within 20 yards to get this damage debuff. Grave Injustice gives you 1% of your maximum life and mana, and reduces the cooldowns of your abilities by 1 second every time an enemy dies within 20 yards, and this range is extended by items that increase your gold and pick up radius. So again, this is really where a lot of your survivability comes into play. Between the 4-piece Jade Harvester reducing the cooldowns of your Soul Harvest whenever you cast Haunt or Locust Swarm, and Grave Injustice reducing the cooldowns when you kill an enemy, this is what really allows you to spam Soul Harvest very often, getting healing and mana back, and being able to group mobs together, piranhas, and Spirit Walk pretty often as well. Spirit Vessel, this is going to be for a second life just in case you do die. If you go straight into Torment 7 with just rares and 6-piece Jade, there are some things that might kill you, and it will slow your runs down. But if you're careful enough and you're running Spirit Vessel, you shouldn't have any issues going right to Torment 6 or Torment 7. And then we have Creeping Death. And as you can see with the 6-piece Jade Harvester, that you deal 150 seconds worth of your dot damage while running Creeping Death every time you Soul Harvest. Now the gameplay that you're watching right now is with just 6-piece Jade Harvester and some decently rolled rares. I went ahead and put some low-level gems in my gear and reset all Paragon points to zero to simulate a fresh level 70 Jade Harvester character. Now let's talk about some specific legendaries to look out for. There are a lot of good complementary legendaries to Jade Harvester, but we're going to talk about the ones that are specific to the class. First up, the Quetzalcoatl. Locust Swarm and Hot now deal their damage in half the normal duration. This leads to effectively double damage. Next up, the Sacred Harvester. This gives you 10 stacks of Soul Harvest opposed to 5, which gives you even more movement speed, more armor, 
and more intelligence. Paired with the brand new Lacumbra's ornament, also giving you more damage reduction per stack of Soul Harvest. That brings us right into those bracers. 6% damage reduction per stack of Soul Harvest, and stacking up to 10 times again with that Sacred Harvester one-hand ceremonial knife. Next, the Vile Hive Mojo. This gives you up to 60% extra damage to your Locust Swarm and gives you the Pestilence Rune. This allows you to potentially run something like Searing Locust on your bar for more damage. Or if you're running Greater Rifts, you can run the Rune of Locust Swarm that reduces damage taken. Next, the Wormwood Two-Handed Staff. This is best suited for speed builds, allowing Locust Swarm to just be cast and you can just focus on spamming Haunt. It tends to be ran in the cube, although early on, it's totally fine to run on your character if you don't have a better one-hander and mojo. Next up, the Ring of Emptiness. You deal up to 100% increased damage to enemies affected by both your Haunt and your Locust Swarm. Now keep in mind that there are a lot of other really good items for Jade Harvester that aren't specific to Witch Doctor. Things like Convention of Elements, the Traveler's Pledge, Compass Rose combination, Hellfire Amulets, etc. I think that about covers everything to get you guys started in Season 5, and I hope it helps. Now I'm going to leave you guys with a couple links to other videos that I've made recently. The first one being a 80 plus capable Jade Harvester Greater Rift build, and the second one being a Torment 10 Ingeom speed farming build with Jade Harvester. So anyways guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.